This video is about how to make money selling other people's stuff. I specifically did it, you can too. So specifically, I'm gonna talk about four things. Number one, where do you start, right? How do you pick the opportunities? Cause there's tons of them. And then specifically, like what's the difference between direct selling and just selling other people's stuff. There's a big difference. I'll explain that in just a moment. And then how do you pick the right thing? And do you only have to pick one? Hmm, wait for the answer. So where do you start? Well, first of all, do you wanna make money? You have to make that decision. And then you're gonna say, well, do you wanna sell a product or service? So those are some starting questions, right? Do you wanna make money? I would assume you're listening, the answer is yes. And do you wanna sell a product or a service? Which one? And they're different. The answer though, if you really wanna make a lot of money is you wanna do both. So hold that thought, cause I'm gonna explain it in a moment. So I'm gonna tell you a little story. When I was leaving Chevron, cause I was working as an exercise physiology, this was 1996, a long time ago. So I left Chevron because I met Robert Kiyosaki and Sharon Lecter. I flew to Scottsdale, sat around Sharon's kitchen table, literally, this was before the Rich Dad Poor Dad, you know, whole book series came out. And they had this cash flow game sitting out in the middle of the table. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I would love to do the game. We're gonna focus on the book. And I said, well, let me focus on the game. So I got the rights to be the master distributor of the cash flow game. So I didn't have stuff to sell at that point. So I love selling someone else's stuff. So what stuff could you sell? Who do you love? Who could you be an affiliate for? So I was not only affiliate for the Rich Dad Poor Dad brand, I sold Brian Tracy stuff, I sold Les Brown stuff, I sold Zig Ziglar, Jim Rohn, who else? I had 18 different people, Jay Conrad Levinson, who were all the guerrilla marketing stuff. I just sold other people's stuff. So I fell in love with marketing and money and I sold 18 people's stuff as an affiliate. So what did that get me? Oh my gosh, it got me a relationship with some of the greatest mentors ever. I gotta be in their masterminds because I was making them a ton of money. So another reason to sell other people's stuff is a lot of times as you're just launching into entrepreneurialism, selling yourself is a little awkward. But that's for actually for a lot of people. So from 1996 to 2000, I sold everybody else's stuff as an affiliate and a referral partner. Those are the names of those things. So how do you discover opportunities that are available like that? You go online and look at the different websites. There are so many people who are looking for people to be affiliates of their products and services. There are people who are looking for referral partners and set up a formal referral relationship. There are so many things that you can do. I wanna show you what I did to blend the products and services as an affiliate partner to the Rich Dad Poor Dad brand. And really a lot of the folks that I was you know, representing. So I would represent their book or their game or their tape series or whatever they were selling. I was more product oriented. So when I really got into it, what people would ask me is like, well, Laurel, how do I do it? So in 1997, I started business and financial coaching. So that was my service, my experience tied to somebody else's product. I made hundreds of thousands of dollars. And in fact, when I really started getting to it by 1998, I was making hundreds of thousands. By 1999, became a millionaire. I was making millions of dollars and this was selling everybody else's stuff. This wasn't even like really all mine at that point. The coaching was mine, but that was it. So it gave me a ton of experience in the space I wanted to be in. And that led me into Live Out Loud, now Integrated Wealth Systems is the company that you know it today. So I can tell you, I did it, I bootstrapped it from nothing, you can do it too. So where else do you discover opportunities? You can go on any website, you can look for opportunities, you can look for revenue opportunities, you can look for affiliate marketing, you can look for direct sales companies. So direct sales companies are another word for is MLMs. Now don't freak out because so many people hate MLMs. Now here's what's interesting. In America, people have a weird issue. And I always take it back to the Amway days where you had soap and all this stuff like in your garage. The truth is MLMs in a lot of countries, I'm gonna get this, I'll, I'll go look at China. I remember walking around Singapore, walking around Hong Kong, Kuala Lumpur, and literally they take network marketing so seriously, they set up storefronts. Like literally you walk into a store like you're going shopping, you can go buy new skin, you can buy Mary Kay, you can buy stock trading education, whatever the direct sales company. So what direct sales allows you is a structure and a product of which you can put your service around. So you take the service money and you sell their product. There's lots of combinations you can do to sell other people's stuff. I love when other people sell other people's stuff. There's just this delay. A lot of times people say, well, I don't know what to do. I don't have a book. I don't have a website. Perfect. 
sell other people's. They have website support, they'll have staff support, they'll have inventory support, and then you get to kind of grow into this entrepreneur, I'm gonna say, on the coattails of other people. I love it. And I mean, honestly, if you want to sell my stuff, sell my stuff. I have brilliant stuff to sell. You sell my game, you sell my books. A lot of us in this in this space of education have affiliate programs. So I have clients that are affiliates just like I was with the Kiyosaki brand with 10, 15 different people. Like, what could you sell? Where's your love and passion? Um, let me give you another story of a woman who loves horses. So she sells all this like health products and health modality products. She now sells CBD, like lotions. And um, I think there's like a horse shampoo that she uses. There's some vitamins for horses. She sells all this stuff, has nothing to do like with her own products. She just picks all these amazing products. She's got this beautiful website of all this health for horses and health support for horses. One more story I'm gonna tell you, but believe me, if you are loving this and want more and more ideas, I want you to subscribe to my channel. I'm here every day and I want you listening. Something's gonna spark you to make more money. My whole goal is to help you become a millionaire, which means you need to make money, you need to keep it, you need to invest it, and use a team. And I have assembled a team for two decades of team that you can use as well. Let's go back to, you know, how do you discover the opportunities and how do you get started? And do you decide to sell something for yourself or do direct sales? Here's a combination of all of that. So I have a client, her name is Wendy, and she loves cats. Now, I have to tell you a little funny story because I grew up on a farm in Nebraska and cats are like, you know, outside things. They're not inside things. So I just don't get the love of it all, but it's whatever. That's the first other conversation. So uh, she came to me and said, I have so many expenses with these cats. And I said, well, Wendy, how many cats do you have? And she said, 18. I'm like, oh my God. And she wanted to quit her job. So I'm like, well, you have enough cats and enough experience with all these cats. Let me talk to our tax team and our corporate team and get back to you. So I got back to her and I said, why don't we start a company? And it's going to be a cat blog because your 18 cats all have personalities and they all love things. With that, you're going to associate the things being an affiliate and referral partner to Petco and other companies where she sells all this cat scratching stuff, paraphernalia, whatever cats play with, because remember, I'm not a cat person. So she started with this interesting store and a cat blog where cats from all over the world started like, you know, sharing their cat stories, I guess, with each other. Fast forward, it is now a huge online store making six figures. She sells other people's nutrition, uh, water, um, CBD kind of products. Um, I don't know, whatever cats need, she sells it. She's a massive store and massive following because people love her funny 18 cat personalities and how they're doing business. She's quit her job. She's making hundreds of thousands of dollars. Her cats are all tax deductible now at every vet bill and everything she uses to have those cats run around her house. They should be outside but it's okay. I can tell you there is not a business. There's not a thing that is not going to be exciting for you. Those of you who want to also get into digital currency trading, I got to talk about like what's real right now. Like Coinbase, Binance, there's a lot of places right now that like it's other people's stuff as well. It's just different because you're trading. And I have a lot of those clients that are in that digital currency trading platform that are also doing some Forex trading. Other people have a lot of other products, services, and systems that you can sell. So what do you do next? Pick one. You gotta pick one. You say, well, how do I pick one? Well, first of all, you need to do a little due diligence and um, you could do some background checks. You wanna see the history of the company. There's a lot of scams on the internet since uh, the pandemic hit. Tons of people scamming the internet. So be very careful out there. There's a lot of Ponzi schemes. There's a lot of crap out there. So if you are serious about this and you want us to help vet it with you, then click on the link below and actually we're going to have you talk to one of our teammates because we do a lot of background checks we do a lot of vetting and we can tell you if there's a real financial service or a real backing behind this or is this someone out there that's just trying to scam you you're going to pay them some money hope the opportunity comes and it won't be there so due diligence on this is imperative more now than ever before so click on the link below. You'll be called straight into our office. Actually, I'll put the phone number down there too. And you can talk to somebody in our team about how to develop a business idea, something that you could sell to make money today.